We know you're busy. We know you want to know what's happening. Give me five minutes and I'll tell you what you need to know. Here's the deal. Crime is always a very hot topic in Jacksonville, but especially when crime is rising in an area covered by a program that's designed to reduce it. Cure Violence is the name of the program, and it's asking the city council for more money. Some critics want proof that the program is worth it. So here's the deal. Cure Violence is designed to put people on the streets and be violence disruptors. They asked the city's finance committee for another $800,000. Supporters say the program takes time. We can't rush this. My colleagues and I fund this thing. I understand. Yes, sir. And and I want to make sure we're spending our dollars where eventually we're going to see something that makes us feel like that we're doing the right thing. You can't place the blame of, you know, the continued rise that cure violence isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. Sunday is September 11th. It's been 21 years since we woke up and watched those towers fall, the Pentagon attacked, and that plane crash in the Pennsylvania field. It is still so real to me. But here's the deal, for my kids and for other young adults, it's just history. Naval Station Mayport held a special ceremony Friday morning to make sure that young sailors understand what this date means. Commanding Officer Brian Binder says everyone in the Navy serves with the same dedication, but it's important the younger generation knows how September 11th changed things. It's easy as a, as a young 20-something-year-old to go and go flying, but are you flying for the right thing? Are you flying for the right purpose? That's what the day changed for me. So promise me this, this weekend we'll all take a moment to remember 21 years ago and how we felt and also how unified we were as a country. It's finally here, football. The Jaguars head to Washington, D.C. for their first game of the season to take on the Washington Commanders. The Doug Peterson era is underway. The game is on Fox 30, 1 o'clock Sunday. The Action Sports Jacks team will have you covered with all of the before the game and after the game coverage. It's going to be a wet weekend, which means it's perfect for watching football. And Mike Burrish has the perfect football watching forecast. Check it out. And to get the latest on the Jags, the latest on the weather, and any breaking news, be sure to check us out on TV. CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.